What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we have some very, very interesting news, as it looks like undefeated, welterweight, superstar, title contender, Jerron Boots Ennis, who is 30 wins, no loss and no draw, 27 big wins by way of knockout. He is 25 years of age, 5'10", with a 74-inch arm reach. Jerron Boots Ennis is coming off a unanimous decision victory over uh, Chua Karazin, Karen Chua Karazin, who uh, many people felt like the performance from Jerron Boots Ennis in that fight wasn't, uh, didn't live up to the, the billing, right? Uh, I thought that Jerron Boots Ennis put on a dazzling performance. Jerron Boots Ennis won every single round, in my opinion, with the guy who was there to survive. He wasn't there to win the fight. He was utilizing a lot of movement. He wasn't uh, looking to um, engage with Jerron Boots Ennis, you know, and um, Jerron Boots Ennis got the unanimous decision victory. He was the co-main event to Javante Tank Davis's showdown with uh, um, uh, Hector Garcia, okay? And he fought Kareem Ch Chua Karzin, okay? Uh, with that said, there was a fight that took place before Jerron Boots Ennis fought, a fight that they was building up for Jerron Boots Ennis' possible next opponent, and that was Speedy Rashidi Ellis, welterweight undefeated title contender, star boxer Rashidi Ellis. Uh, he was the fight right before Jerron Ennis. He came into the fight, 24 wins, no loss, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout, 29 years of age, 5 for 9 with a 72-inch arm reach, and he faced off against Romain Villa. Okay, Romain Villa, he came into the fight, 25 wins, one loss, no draw, 20, uh, 23 win, uh, 24 wins by way of knockout, okay? And um, this was a, a big step up for, you know, uh, Rashidi Ellis. Well, shockingly, Rashidi Ellis, he lost a majority decision to uh, uh, Villa. Villa dropped him uh, twice and nearly stopped uh, uh, Rashidi Speedy Ellis in that fight, an uh, upset. Now, again, they was building Rashidi Ellis to a fight with Jerron Boots Ennis, uh, but Rashidi Ellis, he came up on the short end of the stick. And now, uh, since Jerron Boots Ennis, he may or may not get an opportunity to fight the likes of undefeated WBO welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, three division champion, former undisputed crew, uh, junior welterweight world champion, currently the WBO reigning welterweight world champion, and Terrence Bud Crawford who is 39 wins, no loss, no draw, 30 wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, 5 for 8 with a 74-inch arm reach, or a fight where he's the IBF, International Boxing Federation Mandatory Challenger for undefeated, unified, three-belt, WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. is uh, 28 wins, no loss, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout, he is uh, 32 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. With that said, he's the, that being Jerron Ennis, the IBF mandatory challenger for Errol Spence's title. But it don't look like that's gonna happen. Errol Spence is being rumored to fight against former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Keith One Time Thurman, who is uh, 30 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 wins by way of knockout, 34 years of age, five foot eight with a 69 inch arm reach. Look like that's going to take place May 27th. Okay, so uh, we don't know what's going to be next for Terence Crawford, but that's a possibility for Terence Crawford and Jerron Boots Ennis. But it looks like they're aiming for um, Roman Romain Villa to fight Jerron Boots Ennis on the co-main event once again. Now for Javante Tank Davis's massive showdown with King Rod Ryan Garcia, April 15th, in possible Las Vegas, Nevada. So with that said, it's being reported that we could possibly see Jerron Boots in his face off against uh uh Romaine Villa as the co-main event to Jerron Boots in his, I mean excuse me, to Javante Tank Davis, who was undefeated, three division champion. Uh he simultaneously held the WBA super title at Super Featherweight, WBA regular title at lightweight, WBA regular title at Julian Welterweight superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, who is uh, 28, uh, 28 wins, no losses, no draw, 26 big wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 28 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm reach, as he take on another superstar within the sport of boxing. And he's not well accomplished, but he's definitely a superstar in the sport of boxing, and that's King Rob Ryan Garcia, who has a record of 23 wins, no loss, no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. 24 years of age, 5'10", with a 70-inch arm reach. 
that's scheduled to take place April 15th. Many people deem that to be the biggest fight in boxing. I still think that, you know, uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford is the biggest fight in boxing, but commercial wise, you, Jerrion Garcia and Javante Tank Davis very well could be the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. But with that said, we can possibly see Roman Villa, who's from Colombia, orthodox fighter, who has a, a record now of 26 wins, one loss, no draw, 24 wins by way of knockout. Uh, he is 29 years of age, 5'8", with a 70-inch arm reach. I think he's actually taller and has a longer arm reach. I think that needs to be updated. Uh, he definitely uh, seems to be much bigger than that, uh, especially when I've seen him in the ring with Rashidi Ellis, who is um, 5'9", with a 72-inch arm reach. And he looked just as big or even bigger than Rashidi Ellis, and his arm reach looked just as long as Rashidi Ellis is. Jerron Ennis is the phenom, as I call him. Uh, many people looked at his performance again with uh, Chua Karazin, okay, uh, and people look at that performance and they say, oh, Jerron Boots Ennis is overrated, he's overstated. Uh, Jerron Boots Ennis, he got exposed in that fight. I don't think that was the case. I think it was actually the opposite. I think that he showed poise. Uh, now, he did show frustration at times, obviously. Uh, you could tell he felt like this opponent is not supposed to be in the ring with me. And uh, he came to survive. He had great stamina. Uh, he was, he was you know, um, better than what I thought he was. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, he was slick. He had very quick feet. You know what I mean? So I definitely feel like uh, uh, Karen Chuakazin, you know, uh, was better. And, you know, um, you know, his stamina, his, 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 uh, uh, Man, his endurance was at it was top notch. He moved around the ring the entire fight. Okay, the entire fight he moved around the ring and didn't get tired at all. Okay, he didn't get tired in the least bit, right? And so you know, um, he came to survive. And I thought Jerron Boots Ennis, you know, could have cut the ring off a little better than what he did. Nonetheless, Chua uh, Chua Karzine, he came into this fight twenty one wins, one loss, no draw, eleven wins by way of knockout, twenty six years of age, orthodox fighter. Uh, five foot nine with a 71 inch arm reach, right? And he was moving, he came to survive again. I, I thought the performance was, was good on the part of Jerron Boots Ennis when I rewatched it. Uh, again, is there things that he can uh fix? Obviously, he's 24 go and 25 years of age, okay? He just turned 25 years of age. Uh, so there's definitely things that he can work on and fix, you know, to get better. And uh, in that fight, I'm sure there's things he looks back and he looks and he says, I could have cut the ring off better. You know, I could have used better angles, you know. Um, but again, uh, Karen Sherwood Kazin, he was slick. He was uh, mobile. Uh, you know, he was he was better than advertised. OK, um, I thought that Jerron Ennis was going to get him out of there two, two to three rounds at tops. Right. Jerron Ennis is extremely long, extremely big, southpaw, orthodox. He can mix it up. He can switch it up. You know, uh, a lot of tools in the toolbox. I just thought personally, Jerron Boutinis would 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 uh be able to stop uh Karen Chu or Karazin, but he was he was there to survive. Okay, again I can't I can't uh uh really re reiterate that enough, right? He was there to survive in my opinion. But nonetheless, this is a great fight. You know, uh many people are gonna look at this fight. It's it's a bigger fight now because now people think you uh, uh, Jerron Ennis was was being considered in the same light in the same conversation with Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, who are top five pound for pound best fighters in the world. Regardless of how you, you know, uh, um, you, you know, um, regardless of how you rank them, okay. Uh, if you got Terrence Crawford one or Errol Spence one or Terrence Crawford two, Errol Spence two, you know, uh, they're definitely top five, no doubt about it, okay. Uh, and so with that said, you know, uh, Jerron Ennis was seen in the same light in the same breath with them, and now people say, oh, he's human now, okay. Uh, he's human. He come down, you know, uh, uh, came back down to earth. He got exposed, people feel like. And so now the fact that uh, Romain Villa has success against an uh, athletic, fast, you know, uh, uh, slick boxer in Rashidi Ellis and he dropped him tights and he showed durability. He showed uh, stamina. Uh, people going to feel like this is a good fight. He got power. They're going to think that he have an opportunity. I think that his style is perfectly suited for Jerron Ennis. And I think Jerron Ennis is going to win uh, possibly in a stoppage. So. Let's see how it all unfolds, but looks like we could get Jerron Boots Ennis. If you don't get the fight with Terrence Bud Crawford, we could possibly get Jerron Boots Ennis versus Romain Villa as the co-main event to Javante Tank Davis. Ryan Garcia will be huge for both guys because it's an absolute huge thing. It's an even bigger stage than uh, Javante Tank Davis versus uh, um, 
uh, Hector Garcia. And that's all I got for y'all. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got.